In the past, information about carbon was stored in over 150 registries scattered around the globe. And each of those registries was independently operated, stored its data in unique formats and different formats, and there was no commonality. And so it was like a modern day Tower of Babel. To create a truly global market in carbon, we need to create a common language to describe the carbon, which is called the data taxonomy. And that data taxonomy allows us to describe any carbon created anywhere by anybody at any time using a common language. Next, we needed to create a unique identifier to track each and every unit of carbon. Not only so we can track who has bought and sold it, but more critically, to ensure that each credit is unique. Because each spot on the earth can only create a single credit at a time. And since carbon credits are just data, without being able to verify the uniqueness of those credits, fraudsters could create credits out of thin air and sell them on to unsuspecting buyers. And that diminishes the trust in the marketplace and drives the price down, which is counter to our goal. Thirdly, we need to recognize that not all carbon credits are created equal. Some have very high quality underlying data and others have no underlying data at all. And so we need a rating system similar to a FICO score for carbon so that we can price each and every credit individually according to its own unique characteristics. Because if we're not able to do that, then we have to price all carbon at the lowest common denominator. And so in the end, by taking these environmental attributes, combining it with a common language, a unique identifier, a rating system designed specifically for carbon, we're able to create a negotiable financial instrument 